because I'm a fan of pages, but uh, just you know some simple things, and this is you know, you know this already, most of you, but uh, just inviting people, right? Sharing content, posting on the wall that you started a, a page, please join. Or we just uh, uploaded a new video to the page, and there's a link. I mean, you know that kind of engagement, inviting people to join uh, your Facebook page. Uh, you can do Facebook pay-per-click advertising, and it's easy to do. Uh, it's a good way to get an initial audience, okay? Uh, and, and in fact, I'll, you want to get an initial audience for a couple of reasons. Uh, getting to 300 is a big number, uh, because here's what happens, right? If I have a page, and this gentleman's a member of my page, a fan of my page, right? If he posts something in the page, or if he interacts with the page, it goes into his news feed. So everyone in his network knows that he, did, he interacted with my page, okay? So that's a viral effect, right? Because he engaged his network, some people in his network would have seen that. Well, once you get up to about 300 members, the viral effect of people engaging in your page alone can, can grow it. Does that make sense? Like you get to a point where really all you're trying to do is getting people to engage, right? Every time you post something on the wall, end it with a question. Right? What do you think? Uh, upload, run a campaign, upload your photos for this or that. Do anything to encourage people to interact with your page. Because when they do, it goes in their news feed, and so the exposure grows. Does that make sense? So always try, and by the way, interaction leads to trust. We talked about that. There's studies that say that people who click on your website just once, their trust level doubles. By one click, and it might be, I mean, granted, it's like from 2% to 4%, right? You just got there. But the, the point is that that interaction, every time they click on something, they're saying, yes, I'm still interested. 